So, meine lieben Leute, da sind wir auch mal wieder bei einer weiteren illustren Runde The Walking Dead Staffel 2 Episode 3 mit mir, <lacht> Lunetschki. Jawohl, fehlerfrei ausgesprochen, das erste Mal, glaube ich. Juhu, jawohl. Warum jetzt schon, obwohl das Ganze noch... Der Bärbel, der Hegel, die Schnack? Mhm. Obwohl das Ganze noch gar nicht auf Deutsch verfügbar ist, ähm... Ja, es gab eine Menge Leute, die mich gefragt haben und haben gesagt, Mensch, eigentlich ist es doch gar nicht so wild. Das bisschen Schulenglisch sollte jeder können. Denke ich mir, hast du recht. Und der Vorteil ist, wenn das Ganze irgendwann komplett auf Deutsch original äh, rauskommt, beziehungsweise wenn alle Dateien verfügbar sind auf Deutsch, dann kann ich das Ganze nochmal auf Deutsch nachholen mit anderen Entscheidungen. Habe ich mir gedacht, versuchen wir es dann in dem Fall nicht komplett nochmal so, wie es sein soll, sondern ich mache dann komplett eigene Entscheidungen nochmal von Anfang bis Ende Staffel 2 Mehr oder weniger, dass das dann Ganze äh, noch mal ein bisschen geändert wird. Da muss ich mir aber noch mal angucken, wie ich mich entschieden habe. Um zu gucken, wie sich das dann auswirkt. Dann haben wir vielleicht beide Optionen offen. Für die, die das Spiel nicht haben wollen, kann ich ja dann mit euch zusammen dann irgendwie werkeln. Oder gegebenenfalls einen Livestream machen. Sehen wir dann ja. Ähm, ich würde sagen, wir fangen einfach direkt an. Wir playen da weiter, wo wir aufgehört haben. Und starten Episode 3. Ja, Bisschen zu viel gelabert am Anfang. Erstmal sehen wir ja sowieso... Was bisher geschah? Vermutlich. Gehe ich von aus. Wenn es nicht so lange laden würde. Previously. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clement's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you f We're going home. As a family. Da bin ich jetzt echt gespannt, wie das noch weitergeht. Beziehungsweise, was wir da für Möglichkeiten jetzt offen haben, wie wir dem ganzen... Schauermärchen entkommen können, nicht wahr? <lacht> Ach nee. Vor allem, ob wir vielleicht noch andere Leute mit zu Gesicht bekommen. You about done over there? Ja, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. Hm. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you too. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, die haben sogar ein Laster. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get him tied up. We'll do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. No, nope. froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? <laughs> You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. Ein netter Kerl. Sehr sympathisch. Könnt fast ein Vater werden. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! Net. Vor allem, was haben die mit uns vor? Als Arbeitssklaven halten? <lacht> In harm's way. Ah. 
Oh, fängt ja schon mal super an. Entführt, verschleppt, geschlagen. Was Besseres kann man sich nicht vorstellen. Das ist mit seinem Gesicht, der ist ja auch schon geprügelt worden, glaube ich, oder? Was in der letzten Episode? Ich habe schon wieder vergessen, das ist schon wieder ein paar Monate her. Ich wundere, meine Allergie hält immer noch an. Ich verstehe es auch nicht. Es ist viel zu lang. Ich weiß nicht, ob da vielleicht irgendwas anderes noch in mir steckt. Wir müssen etwas tun. Komm schon. Jemand hat etwas scharf? Etwas? Wir müssen diese Bindungen aufnehmen. Hey, Clem, hilf mir, etwas zu finden, um diese aufzunehmen. Etwas scharf, das diese aufnehmen könnte. Und was gut ist das going to do? Was ist denn falsch mit euch, Leute? Wir müssen raus aus hier. Die Truck ist leer. Erstens sind wir in es, also es ist nicht genau leer. Wenn du nicht willst, dann sag es so, okay? Ich werde es mir selbst machen. Wir sind in einer fucking prekarischen Position hier. Wir müssen etwas über das tun. Ich muss mich 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 über das tun. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with it. Oh shit. Jackpot. Mm -hmm. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? <laughs> Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. Kenny's probably right. He would have helped us by now if he was going to. You don't know what he's been going through since we left the lodge. None of us do. We don't even know if he's still alive, or that he knows where we went. Right. All we do know is that he ain't helped us. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just <laughs> sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. Yeah, okay, I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right, it's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right, everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? <laughs> I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Na, das hat sie jetzt volle Möhre gebracht, ey. Why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. 
think I've got an idea. Might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it's done. You take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home better. <coughs> Told you. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project He'll be back. When? I don't know. But he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fans. Bill can save no if you're messing enough. with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that. We'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> huh? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should. Say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. So I know. I feel the same way. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Okay. Hey. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. <clears throat> I recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? 
Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. <laughs> Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Are you serious? You're joking, right? Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. <clears throat> Man, Yo. fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. Jawohl, jetzt kommen wir endlich mal wieder hier. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit yeah. to get out of here. <laughs> We're in a tight spot. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. Oh. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Jawohl, jetzt können wir uns endlich mal wieder bewegen, ey. Den ganzen Part über wurde nur geschnackt und Filmsequenzen gezeigt. Ich hatte nicht einmal die Möglichkeit, irgendwas zu sagen. Mensch, aber wenn ich doch so ein Redefreude, ja Mensch, das ist für mich richtig anstrengend, mal nichts zu sagen. 15 Minuten lang Schnauze halten, kann ich ja nicht. Zwischendurch mal husten, toll, ich hab mich verschluckt an einem Getränk. <lacht> das ist aber eher ein Geräusch. Ja, Leute, ähm, bis hier ganz nett. Äh, macht ja eigentlich so gesehen vom Camp her einen ganz netten Eindruck. Die Leute scheinen ja auch eigentlich ganz in Ordnung zu sein. Aber wie Kenny schon sagt, irgendwas ist hier wahrscheinlich faul, irgendwas wird hier nicht stimmen. Irgendwas äh, wird definitiv nicht so sein, wie es sein soll. Wir werden uns in den nächsten Parts auf jeden Fall erkundigen, schauen, was wir hier machen können. Ob wir hier fliehen, ob vielleicht doch alles besser hier ist, ob das Ding überrannt wird. Wir werden es erst erfahren, einige von euch wissen es sicherlich schon. Ich noch nicht, ich werde jetzt weiterspielen. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns dann auf jeden Fall <lacht> am nächsten Part, meine Freunde. Auf dann auf bald, auf Wiedersehen. Tschüssikowski. Blablabla.